Next question is from Nicholas Costa, 3517. The leg ex extension machine is often demonized, but why does it exist if it's not good? It's uh, been demonized? Yeah, well, okay, so number one, I'm going to just, for people with bad knees yeah, maybe. The, yes. the, the number one selling piece of selling uh, uh, exercise equipment in the world. So the, the top selling workout equipment ever was a thigh master. Okay, this was a, a, a thing you put between <laughs> your legs. Spring a spring. A spring that you yeah, squeeze together. Pads. And lots, so, that, so that's number one. So just because something exists doesn't necessarily mean it's got tons of value. Now, the leg extension's got way more value than a thigh master, to be fair. Um, it's just there's a lot of exercises that are better. And the back half of my career as a personal trainer, I rarely used rarely used the leg extension. I used it in the beginning yeah. because it was a quad isolate. It was the only quad isolating exercise I knew, and I thought, oh, this is something you have to do mm -hmm. or finish your workout with. Towards the back half, I never use a leg extension machine with anybody because it just doesn't have as much value as lots of other exercise. But that doesn't mean it has no value, right? Yeah. It's not and I and I found like rarely did I have a client that like had a hard time uh, connecting to their quads and, and that being you know something that I, I was more focused on posterior chain uh, type of, of of machines or something that could help uh, connect a little bit better to you know glutes hamstrings like uh, the quads were were pretty much uh, involved with with a lot of and a lot of times I was trying to get uh, the quads not to be so dominant so. Um, yeah, I'd, I mean, I would use it in terms of like just adding it in as an accessory tool to, if I needed some isolation work for the quads, but really there was so many more like exercises, lunges and things I could add that had way more value. Well, you, we have to remember that the introduction of machines was for rehabilitation first and the leg extension has tremendous value for rehabilitation. I mean, anybody who's tore their ACL, any sort of knee surgery, sure. That is a staple exercise that every PT is going to do with you. You normally start with just your leg of your weight or your, the weight of your leg on the edge of a bench, and then they end up putting like ankle weights on your uh, on your ankle, and then you do leg extension, and then eventually you progress to a machine that has a little bit of resistance. It's uh, one of the best ways for you to. And then if you uh, you know so you don't have to add a bunch of weight, we now we can use things like blood occlusion on a leg extension machine, and you can mm -hmm. get you know some great. Uh, you know, you can get some great benefits from not allowing your your quad to atrophy as much because of your knee, and then start to build the muscle back before risking a lot with like a squat or something that's or a lunge, which for somebody who just tore a ligament in their knee is dangerous. You know, somebody who just three months out of ACL MCL type of surgery. And, you know, they were to go squat or, you know, lunge, that could be really dangerous. Mm -hmm. But somebody who's sitting in a fixed position in a leg extension machine with their, you know, quad tied off for blood occlusion, I mean, gets tremendous benefits for building muscle and low risk on their knees. So the machine has tremendous value. And that and that really is the, the was the main purpose for it. Now, it's, it was so good for that, that there's also benefits for hypertrophy and building muscle. But when you look at it from the lens of like a trainer, like we all look at it, the the way that you're targeting the quads, I can do that with lots of other sissy squats, I think are 10 times better, mm -hmm. right? Because you, you have to have good hip mobility. You have to have good hip extension and be able to activate your glutes in a movement like that. You have to have good ankle mobility and control, good stability. And then you also target the quads incredibly in an exercise like a sissy squat. So as, as a trainer, we always look at things like, you know, if this client is healthy, they didn't just they didn't just tear their knee. I can I can have them do a movement that gets all the same benefits as a leg extension, but and a lot more. So I'm going to do that as a trainer. But it doesn't mean that those things don't have some value. For example, if I'm really trying to target the quads, I might use the leg extension to pre-exhaust before I go into like a squat. Yeah. There's a great use of that tool. So when you look at, when you start to look at the landscape of a gym and you're looking at all the machines, first of all, one, remember that was the main purpose of why they originally were created was for that purpose. Putting you in a fixed position to keep the rest of the body very stable so you can isolate a part of the body Really, the most benefits to that is if you were the rest of some of your body was injured somewhere and you need to be, keep it stable and you don't want to risk hurting it. And so that was the main introduction of that. So you first have to look at it like that. And then as a trainer, when I look at every machine, I know that I can emulate and get the same benefits with free weight. And with that, I that it's which is more functional to the average person. So we'll always, I'm always going to lean towards other exercises unless 
that tool makes sense to use. And it makes sense when there's an injury. It makes sense if I'm using it for pre-exhaust or if I have something very specific I'm trying to do or I want to isolate. Otherwise, most clients, I'm not trying to do that. You know, the only other exception is a bodybuilder, is somebody who, you know, I'm trying to isolate a part of their body because they're underdeveloped. They were judged on stage and the, and the judge goes, you know, hey, you got great glutes and hamstrings, but your quads are weak, which by the way, is rarely ever the case. But if that's the case, okay, let's do exercises where I can really hone in on just the quads. Okay, then it has some value. But for the average person who's trying to just be healthy, build muscle, burn body fat, it's it's a, an exercise or a machine that I'm not going to use that much because I can do other things that do, get the same thing accomplished plus way more benefits with it.